hey guys welcome back so guys in this video we are going to learn how to integrate a payment gateway of riser pay so guys we are going to integrate riser pay payment gateway in our react.js e-commerce application so guys now let's begin with it so guys first let's move to this button and create one more button with the name pay online okay so let's get back to our react application and to our checkout page so let's move to the form and here is the place order button so now let's copy and paste and now guys we have to create this as a function so let's give in this format and let's pass here the event okay so e and inside this event comma inside single quotes this will be place order for cash on delivery okay cod will make it and this will be pay online rather pay here we have to give all set so function is set guys now and on this basis we are going to place the order if you directly click it will place the order into database when you pay online it will check with the rather pay so guys now let's move to this submit order function first so let's go here is a submit order and yep so inside this so the event and your let's tell that is payment mode guys okay so this will be one format so first you can use prevent default for event default function and now this payment mode you are going to add in this data variable okay so let's add that payment mode colon your whatever value you are getting from that submit function so now guys you will get cod or riser pay option over here when you save the data so you are sending this data into your post right so place order data so inside this post you will go back to your laravel application so over there you need to call the option of payment mode so let's get back to our laravel code guys over here on the checkout controller we have set that directly cod so now guys instead of cod we have to give dollar request of your option called payment mode so either it will come cod or riser pay so yep let's get back so we have added now when you place order it will automatically ask for the payment mode so the payment mode option is coming from your button either cod or riser pay okay so let's get back and yep guys so let me just minimize this let's use switch case guys over here okay so the key which we are going to pass is nothing but the payment mode let's copy this payment mode paste here and the value over here inside single quotes let tell cod so we have one cod function let's copy this and paste again and one will be for the riser pay so let us check the spelling let's copy that this is riser pay and cod guys so yep this is riser pay all set and now guys when you are placing for cod you can just give your api request over here so guys now we are done with the cod so no doubt in this let's minimize this just we are separating it so do not get confused for riser pay option guys we have to set that so first step we are going to write for the validation purpose so when you place the order let's get back so on this click on pay online first we should validate this form because validation is not done directly if you place the order will get placed but payment will not be done so guys for that we have to validate the form so you can just create a axios axios dot post method then a response of open and close where let's pass the forward slash api forward slash will tell validate hyphen order comma and the data so this data you are going to get your variable data you will get and you are going to create a new api 
so from this response let's check over here if the response data dot status is triple equal to 200 success means you are going to print the success code which will do over here else you are going to show the other option so let us copy from the above code so let's copy this and paste done and instead of this guys you just need to remove place order and this one so when it is success you are going to set all the error as null and if there is any error you will set the errors guys okay so now let's go back to a laravel application and create a route let's get back go to api.php file and before place order colon colon with the method post where validate order comma you're going to place this where you'll tell validate order copy and go to your checkout controller guys and create a function so yep let's move below public function validate order open and close over here guys let us copy from the above itself so yep the login thing and the validation part let's copy this and paste and copy this yep done guys it's very simple you can see this if else condition is coming over here and the request so let's take all the request request of dollar request so you are getting all the input fields and you are validating the form if it fails it's going to show 422 else you are going to redirect with for i mean 200 status so let us copy that 200 status also let's just copy and send if you want to show the message you can show or else ignore this i'll just for tell form validated successfully save and yep guys so let's get back so once it fails you can see 422 if there is no login 401 if it is success it's 200 so you need to just check this 422 and 200 let's get back 422 and 200 guys so when it is success you are going to integrate your rather pay payment gateway okay so now first let us see this condition is working or not so yep once refresh guys and let's inspect go to console and now guys let's click on this pay online so yep all fields are mandatory perfect so we are getting all the errors guys and now let's start with the integration of payment gateway so we are done with the validation let's go to rather pay payment gateway so this is the url guys integration or you can find that the option so we are move on with web integration let's go to docs standard web integration okay guys so standard checkout let's move below where you can find the javascript one so here we are moving with this manual checkout with handler function javascript so first step let's copy this copy get back and guys you just need to go to your index.html file so inside your public folder you have index.html file and just paste it guys so i have already pasted this so just paste so i just now paste and let's close this file that's it and now start with the code so you just need to copy this here we don't want all these things so just copy till here and we will remove some things from it get back and paste guys 
okay let me remove all these comments you need to add your Razor Pay test API once it is tested you can add your live payment API okay so guys we don't need this currency if you are using USD and all you can just move on or else we'll see in next video how to integrate PayPal okay so name will be description image and we don't need this order ID because we already have that and inside this you are going to get this payment ID so we require this we don't need order ID signature we don't require now and yes guys so let's remove this also we don't require perfect all set over here guys you will face an error this one so for this you just need to add window window dot razor pay we have misspelled over here it's window and then guys for this let's make it to razor and razor dot open function okay because this over here we have to call that so you can see where it is it's over here okay so we are not using to going to click on this we have already on the click so yep let's get back and now guys let's prefill the details over here instead of this Gaurav Kumar so we are going to prefill instead of Gaurav Kumar you can just add on with your variable data so let me just minimize this data first name okay here data dot first name and just give concatenate data dot last name okay and then your email id over here so from this email id data dot email field and same way you can give the phone number guys data dot phone so make sure your column fields are correct email and phone perfect so how will you get your razor pay test id so you need to just sign up with this and register and you can get the api guys once you log in in this so yep there are many posts and blogs to get the api key so let's get back and for this total amount guys so how are you going to paste the amount so open and close bracket and your the uh, total amount so our total amount we have already calculated in previous video how to get that so i'll just show you over here this is the total cart function i mean variable where we have already calculated that in the table right so we are going to take this data and paste that so guys let's copy this and paste that in our submit function so yep here is the total cart price multiplied by 100 paisa so whatever that value comes it will be multiplied over here because it's given paisas and the company name and the description for this and then your image logo if you have the logo path you can assign over here and now guys let's move to place the order so inside this handler function we are going to place our order so once the payment is done like let me just show you let's edit detail over here so some random digit phone number and email with at gmail.com so whatever value you fill it will be filled inside your payment form okay let's pay online yep okay so not found i mean this key rather pay key id so let me just paste my key id so i have pasted my key id guys and now let's place again pay online perfect so we are getting on the test mode i have just paste my id done and yep guys we are not able to find the logo so it's giving 404 over here now you can start paying once you pay with the id then it will place the order so right now it is not going to place because we have not given the code in handler function so over here guys you just need to call your the before place order code so let's copy this Control c and paste here all set we are not going to check the validation so let's remove and before this we are getting the payment id so we need to store that 
as you remember we have already created the payment id in the previous video while creating the order table so here is the payment id which we have left null we have to store this id data right now okay so guys you can just get back so let's set this okay so guys now let's take this and set in that data variable so we are getting the data right so we are placing the order and inside this data we'll pass the payment id okay so guys now what we have to do let's go top and inside this variable data when you are submitting the order so just create a payment id guys so i have just created payment where null i have done over here and this payment id only will take it from data to payment id so let's move below your data dot payment id is equal to where you are going to pass this riser pay payment id done so the data your riser pay id will be sent inside this and with this help of data you are going to place the order guys as simple and now guys when it's going to data then you have to set this payment id as per our database so guys, let's go to a laravel application where we are on the order submit okay so place order function let's move below so after this payment mode we will move to column payment id and the request we are getting from the react is payment id okay so you can just copy this payment id and paste inside the request guys so when you are placing cod that means it will store as null if it is online payment then it will store the payment id so guys we are done now and let's get back and let's test guys so let's go over here let's add the information once again so some 10 digit phone number and email so some address okay let's proceed with pay online so guys you can see that the payment is one rupee guys because i have set that default to one rupees because if i take this 33000 i don't have that much amount to test it so i'll just show you that once again so here is it guys i have just make it to one rupee instead of total card price okay so yep let's get back and now guys we are going to place the order pay online and yep let's move with upi so enter some way that ybl and proceed with pay okay so perfect order placed successfully okay done and we are redirected to thank you page as per the code guys so now let's go to our database and see here so there is only one order let's check perfect so guys we have placed the order here and we have got the payment id and the payment mode is riser pay done guys so we have successfully done with it and you can check the order items so with the id 8 so order id 8 guys all set and so guys in this video that's it we have successfully seen that how to integrate our riser pay payment gateway in react.js with laravel api so guys thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share